Hey everybody, I'm Psych, and guess what? I'm going on hiatus again! Yay! Boo! Obviously, I will talk about that in this video, but first things first, I wanted to talk about this game. This is Mayhem 3D. Uh, it's on the PlayStation 3. It's a demolition derby game. Uh, very similar to Test Drive Eva Destruction. But the thing that really stands out is that it looks sick. Uh, if anybody's ever played Mad World, it's like that. You know, it's it's in black and white, and the only colors are red, a little bit of yellow, and there's one instance of blue. But aside from that, it's like, you know, it's what, what you're seeing right now is basically the whole game. Um, I just recently started playing this game yesterday. And I just recently finished this game yesterday. It is an incredibly short game. Uh, I beat it in like five, six hours. Like everything. Trophies, you know, all the races, all that sort of stuff. Whole thing in one day. Super short game, but so cool. It looks awesome. And I will definitely show off some of that. Uh, let me see. Ooh, hmm. Hmm, I don't know. It looks like so much fun. Sure. You can see all the cars are like demolition derby style cars. Which all. Uh, like, there's certain groups of cars. So, like, these four have the same stats, and then you move on to the next four, and they have different stats. And then there's different classes of vehicles. These are the muscle cars. Then you have sedans. This, which are all just big, beefy, and trippy. You have station wagons, which I am a huge proponent of. These things are sick. Disco 50? Oh my god, I think I know what car I'm using. There's uh, coupes, which are, you know, small two-door type cars. There's pickups. Which are really sick looking, especially I think it's something like that. Pretty, pretty sick. And the only thing that could be just a little bit sicker than that is monster trucks. Yeah, pretty sick. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. You know, obviously all the vehicles look very similar, except like you know, this one's got like a front um, bumper attachment on it uh, let me see here this one's a little bit different and you know like puts pipes in in different spots and there's a little bit little differences amongst all the different types of vehicles but pretty much they all look the same per category but I am using oh yeah I'm using disco 50 oh man that's awesome 11 normal Sure, why not? Alrighty, I'll just get into this while I talk about uh, everything that, you know, <laughs> the very beginning of the video. So yeah, I'm going on hiatus again, and the only reason I'm doing that is because obviously I have more work lined up for me uh, in the acting field. It's something that I found out about very, very recently. They are actually filming a pilot for a television show and obviously that means if the pilot does successful then that warrants you know a, a TV series which means that warrants more work involved for everybody involved including me so that's pretty sick and I'm not gonna tell you what the show is or tell you uh, who's directing it or tell you where it's being shot because that's going to be you know the new the new town that I live in because I'm gonna have to move uh, pretty pretty far to uh, you know make this a reality but what I will tell you is that the character that I am portraying is uh, it's it's a uh, it's a hippie it's a, it's a hippie I'm playing a hippie I mean it didn't say so in uh, the message that I got directly but it said and I quote the character is part of a commune that is trying to get in touch with the earth. So yeah, hippie. 
Which, you know, that's, that's cool. Whatever. I wonder I wonder uh, what all what all I can do with that to make it a really, really cool deal. And apparently it's a very um, coveted extra position, which, you know, I'm all for doing anything. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also really excited about just the fact that that's a thing and the fact that um, somebody got a hold of somebody and recommended me for this. Because keep in mind, you know, right now I still live in Nebraska and I'm going to have to move to a completely different state in order to pursue this further. But the fact that somebody stepped up and said, hey, I know this person isn't a you know native of this state, but I've worked with them before and I can vouch for their, for their, um, for their, uh, you know, work personally, their, their, their attitude, their personality, their professionalism, their responsibility, their respect, all that sort of stuff. I, I've worked with them personally, so I, I highly recommend, um, using this person, and they will eventually be living in this state as well. So, just the fact that that is a thing really means a lot to me and I'm very uh, honored and I absolutely will do exactly what I did with the Buster Scruggs thing. I will take it and I will dominate it as much as I possibly can because that's just kind of how I approach you know things of this nature which is really the way you have to approach anything uh, this this um, important significant you know anything of that nature because it's a big deal. It really is. So I'm very honored to uh, to be able to be a part of that. There you go. First place with a disco station wagon. Man, that's so sick. We'll do the little, yeah, look at that. Black and white dancing. Thank you. Thank you. Again, this game is just sick. Uh, I'll do one more thing, I guess. But what's funny is that um, what was going to happen was exactly what I thought was going to happen. I was like, oh, wow. Um, one of these levels I have not done before, and I think it's this one. And I'll go ahead and use me a monster truck because why not? Oh wow. Hot hatch? Yeah, right. Uh, give me something good. Oh. Eh. It's. Mm. Yeah, but I want something that's really like just BA. That's pretty good. I know I'm just like totally dicking around right now, but you know, I gotta make this special. See, that's one thing I don't like about this is like the higher up you go, you know, presumably the, the vehicles get better, better stats, but then you get less things. Like there's no, there's no like bumper guard on this and the, the pipes in the hood are shorter and there's no, you know, thing in the trunk or trunk. Yeah. The trunk of the pickup truck, the bed of the pickup truck. I don't like that. Uh, so random. Just kind of goes in the opposite direction. So I'm going to use uh, one of these instead. This one, maybe? Sure. Uh, I'll do two laps. Sure. Yeah. Opponent type. I want to get eh, monster trucks. All right, here we go. I've never actually played this level uh, because you you never have to play this level in order to beat the the you know the whatever it's called story mode career mode. But oh, the thing that I was gonna say. Okay, thank you. Just let me let me do stuff. This flashing is not helping at all. Okay. So um. What I was thinking was going to happen, or what I was hoping was going to happen at the very least, was that um, 
since the Buster Scruggs thing that I filmed in September won't be out until June of next year, that there was a very high probability that I could get myself involved with another project and it would come out before the Buster Scruggs thing just because the Buster Scruggs deal is on Netflix and this television pilot is on TV uh, on a... I'm not going to say what channel because that's a bit of a spoiler, but uh, a very prominent network. Let's just put it that way. And I will talk about all that sort of stuff in more detail when I'm actually, A, living in the state that I have to move to in order to, uh, you know, facilitate all this. And B, when the trailer for, okay, when the trailer for the show comes out, then I will uh, talk about it in more detail. Okay, that happened again. Okay, come on. Mm, the monster trucks in this game are kind of fun because they it just seems like all the other vehicles in this game they don't get as much air when you when you ramp off of things. Okay, whatever, just let me go. But when you ramp off of things with the monster truck, it's like, yeah, big time fun. Uh, the driving in this is pretty simple. Uh, I just finished playing Midnight Club Los Angeles before playing this. And yeah, I know I should probably be working on games in the Rex series, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not really concerned with making videos right now because, you know, I kind of have, like, massive life decisions to deal with. Uh, I'm probably not going to be making any videos until I'm established in my new home. And then at that time, I'll make another update video saying, hey, I'm living somewhere else now, and then this, this, that, and the others, and blah, blah, blah. And hopefully I have uh, some more work lined up for me, because uh, there's obviously more than one casting director in the, the town that I'd be living. So I'm currently involved with one casting director, and I would like to get involved with all of them. Because you know, I just I just want to I just want to work in the field. It's it's a great it was a great experience. It's a wonderful job. I love it. Uh, I have a passion for it, uh, and this is my opportunity to go out and make the most of it. So I absolutely will, and I'm very much looking forward to it. I guess I'll give you one hint as to where it could possibly be, even though it's not much of a hint at all. But the city that I'll be living in is bigger than the largest city in Nebraska in terms of population. Which, for those of you who don't know, the largest city in Nebraska is Omaha. Population of about 485,000. The, the city that I'll be living in is larger than that. That's the only thing I'm going to say. And again, in about a month's time, I'm going to say I will uh, be there and established. I think, what is can't even think what today is say like five weeks I mean I was the one that said I wanted to get this going as soon as possible and I think this qualifies I, I, just, I just can't believe the turnover on this for, for one one casting director got me the Buster Scruggs project and then within a month less than a month's time I got this uh, TV show pilot going on so that's pretty cool. But anyways, uh, that's everything I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm sorry for for uh, just kind of leaving again like I tend to do. But at least I have the courtesy and decency to let you know that I'm going to be gone. As opposed to everybody that I like watching that just kind of disappears without a trace. Except for uh, Cypheron48 and Odin's Back 33 They're obviously busy on a different part of the internet but at least they're doing things but and obviously fabulous fish is still going strong which is good but yeah there you go thank you guys for watching i will see you someday soon i hope for the next video whatever that may be maybe it's more sykes wreck maybe it's the beginning of the evil within maybe it's the beginning of my favorite let's play who knows you'll just have to stick around and find out but until then, see you around.